Good morning, I'm Jackie Hare, Dean of the Fort Hood and Continental Campuses, and I bring you greetings today out of Fort Hood, Texas. So this morning, we're gonna discuss the programs and services that both our Continental and our Fort Hood campuses offer. So first, we're gonna start off with our Continental campuses. So we have 14 offices throughout 20 areas of the United States, and we offer different programs and different certificates at those locations. So I'm going to share. So we have an associate dean, which is Mr. We Mr. Michael Webster, who um, supervises the East Coast, and we also have Miss Mary Stone, who supervises our West Coast. So as I stated before, we have several locations throughout the United States. As you can see, these are our locations here. So whether you're PCSing relocating, transferring, whatever you do, and CTC is available to assist you and help you with your educational journey. So now I'm going to walk you through the process of how you will actually locate our different sites on the websites and what they actually have to offer at those locations. So what you do is go to the ctc.edu web page and you'll toggle over to locations and you'll scroll down to where it says more resources under other US locations. As I stated before, you see all of our available sites that we have. Some of our sites um, actually offer different programs such as Fort Knox and Fort Riley. They offer automotive programs. We have Fort Knox which offers child development and Fort Lee which offers hospitality. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the location. So for example, we have Fort Benning. And as you can see, if you go to their web page, they let you know that all of their face-to-face -face classes are um, online using via Blackboard to, due to the whole pandemic. And they also have their content, um, excuse me, contact information available for you. So all of our sites are available and ready to assist you, whether you call or email, and some even have chat features that are available. So for example, if you take Fort Benning for, um, for example, you see they have their current schedule that's out there for their classes that start in fall one, their rates and fees, their upcoming um, calendar. So for example, if you can't start fall one, you can see when the classes start for fall two and their dates. Also, they have their programs that, that they have listed. All of our sites do offer the associate's degree in general studies, which is a 60 hour degree program. We offer the core courses there. So as you see, they have testing information, their faculty and staff, the holiday closure. So everything that you need on these sites, there are available. Also at our joint base, Lou McCord, um, site that actually have a live chat feature. So please feel free to go and take them up on that and chat. If you can call in or, or email, please feel free to go out there and use that, that feature that we have available. So our sites have different registration dates, um, different term dates, but for the Gourmet students, our active duty registration is open 60 days prior to registration. And also, um, excuse me, 60 days prior to the class start date. And then for our civilians, you can contact them and you can be able to register for classes um, up until the day before classes start. Um, so as, as it comes to the pandemic and COVID-19 and you know safety and our concern of our students is our number one priority. So therefore we are adhering to the guidelines and protocols established by the government and by CDC, CDC guidelines. So therefore some sites are allowing um, for appointments. You have to come in, of course you have to adhere to the guideline which is wear your face mask and of course adhere to social distancing of six feet. Um, another great thing about our continental campuses is some of our sites actually offer Blackboard collaborate classes. And what that entails, so if you're, for example, if you're in Fort Rucker and you're physically there, but you need a class that's not offered there, our site at Fort Seal has the instructor there and you will take that class via a virtual blackboard and that way you can be successful and actually complete your class in order to complete your degree. So we have an array of different initiatives and great things going on at our continental campus and we are here to assist you and make sure we help you along your way in your journey. Now we're going to go back over to our PowerPoint slide.
So the contact information for our Continental Campus is as follows. We have Mrs. Ashley Manry, who is our Continental Coordinator, and you can uh, email her. And as I said before, we have our two associate deans. We have Michael Webster, and we also have Mrs. Mary Stone. They are available to assist you in any way possible. Next, we're gonna talk about our Fort Hood campus. So first thing is first, we're gonna talk about the coronavirus. Again, we wanna make sure everyone is aware that we are adhering to those guidelines and how we are adjusting to those. Um, as, the, as of right now, we're not taking any walk-ins, but we are available Monday through Friday from 7.30 to 4.30 to assist you via email or over the phone. We're actually in the process of having a chat feature installed onto our web page, so therefore you'll be able to contact us that way as well. Uh, Jackie, we I'm sorry to interrupt you. Can you change your display settings, please? Oh, sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Can you see it? Uh, yes, thank you. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so um, as I was saying, so we have our testing services that have resumed here at Fort Hood. So therefore you are uh, welcome to call and make an appointment with our coordinator, Mr. Richard Reinhardt, and he'll assist you with getting uh, tested for CLEP or Dante's or TSI. Um, as always, I said, we are following regulations. Another concern that we have or questions or statements that's been brought to our attention is, can I come to Fort Hood and take classes even though I'm not active duty or dependent? The answer is yes. We welcome anyone here to come in and take classes with us. Um, you can obtain a pass, it's, it's very easy. So what you have to have is a driver's license, your registration and proof of insurance. You're gonna take that to the visitor center and we will provide you with an actual document that you will take along with that to show that you should have access to come onto the base. So if you have any questions with that, you feel free to contact our office and we'll assist you with getting access to come onto the base. So we're gonna talk about some of our transition programs that we offer here at, at Fort Hood. One of the programs that we offer now is the SAP program, which is a 10 week program. At the end of that program, you'll be certified um, to have your certificate in TS-410 and you'll be able to take that certificate and work in um, different industries and that will help you prepare you in your um, career. So we have our next cohort that is beginning uh, September the 15th through November 24th and then January the 5th through March the 12th, 2021 and March the 23rd through June the 1st. So now we're gonna talk back over and I'm gonna walk you through the process of how you locate information on our Fort Hood page. So as you see, we go back to the home page, which is ctcd.edu. You can go to locations. And I just always go where you see the Fort Hood campus. And I just always click on more resources and that'll pull up our, our home page. So for fall of 2020, our classes will be taught OBL online due to the pandemic. So we wanna make sure our safety of our students is priority. So therefore those classes will be held online. But in response to that, like I said, we do have our emails and phones are available. So whatever questions you have or concerns you may have, we are here to assist you. Please feel free to reach out to us. So if you scroll down to the bottom, there's our campus map and direction. So you can um, easily find out how to get to us. Next, we have our class schedules. So if you click on the Fort Hood campus, you can see for fall one, we have that, that schedule out here and it's ready for you. So we offer different formats of classes, just like the continental campuses. We offer eight week courses and we do offer courses that um, are taught on the weekends. And we offer classes in the mornings, in the evenings, afternoons, whatever we can do to be flexible with you helping you achieve your degree. So that's what we have here at Fort Hood and also the continental campuses. So there's our schedule. Our term dates are also available for you as well. So as I stated before, if you can't come fall one, fall two, we have spring and all that information listed out here for you. As I talked about previously, our transition programs, which was SAP uh, system applications and products, 
we list all of the classes that you'll have to take and what's expected to you or what's expected from you and the program requirements. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact our student services and they'll be able to walk you through the process. Okay, so our programs and services here that we offer here at Fort Hood, as I stated before, we have classroom um, courses, but as of now, they're on hold due to the pandemic. So we do have eight weeks in many terms throughout the terms. The many terms consist of sometimes three weeks and four week classes that are accelerated in order to help you, of course, achieve your degree. We have online courses, of course, and we have a hospitality program here. So there's a video also there for you to, to watch and their courses are taught in eight weeks. So currently with our hospitality program, of course, they have labs, hands-on hands -on courses. So in order for the student to get that, that feel and, that, and learn how to cook, so what we're doing is we're actually staggering those courses for those courses to actually be taught in class, which means, for example, if you're taking um, a baking class, so on Mondays and Wednesdays, we'll split the class up. So we're meeting and adhering to the social distance guidelines. So if it's 12 in the class, we'll have six in the class on uh, Tuesday and then the other six on Thursday or Monday and Wednesday, however we, we, we do that. And we'll make sure you have your mask and you're actually able to be in the class and actually prepare the meals and get the hands-on experience. Our testing center, as I stated before, is open. Um, so if you can contact Mr. Richard Reinhardt, there's his contact information. He's available to assist you with your clubs and Dante's and TSI's um, for payment for your, for your assessment. You call us over the phone and we'll take your payment over the phone. And then we have our student services here. So we like to call it the one-stop shop. So whatever you need, we can take care of that right here in our office for you. So we have advising. Um, you can contact our um, advisors, our counselors. They're Monday through Friday from 7.30 to, excuse me, 7.30 to 4.30. We also have a counselor that is located over at the education centers for our active duty that anyone wants to come over there, they can go in and speak to her as well. We have our records and business office. They are um, available as well to assist you with, if you have any problems with trying to um, register or do your residency or pay for your, your classes, they are available. And we also have um, veteran services that are available to assist you with getting you taken care of so you can make sure you're certified for your classes. And we also have this Gourmet uh, registration checklist for active duty. You know, you have to register through the Gourmet portal. You must submit a um, become an application, provide all that information. You have to go and get that approved through your Gourmet counselor. But if you need assistance with registering for classes, we have this checklist. But however, we are here to assist you when it comes to registering through that through the Gourmet um, passwords. You'll need your username and your password, or you can bring in your CAT card if you have that set up that way. Our staff are fully trained and are here to help you in any way that we can. And also, we have our student resources. We have a computer lab, and we also have a store a study area. But those two um, entities are off limits right now due to you know the um, pandemic that we are experiencing at this time. So therefore you can't actually go in there and study just yet, but they are available in the future. And we also provide um, information on how you can have your transcripts evaluated. We get a lot of that, a lot of those questions from active duty and this process will walk you through it. But if you get stuck, like I said, please feel free to call us and we'll walk you through that process. That's what we're here for. And we also have a list of all available scholarships. We have plenty of money that needs to be used. So please feel free to go out there and, and see what um, scholarships you are actually available to qualify for. Another thing I want to tell you about our, our Fort Hood campus, we have a great staff and we have great faculty that are being very flexible during these times. Also, we have our math instructor who actually offers tutoring, free tutoring on Fridays. Uh, when we're able to come back into the class. But, you know, if you register for a class, she will go out, and, you know, above and beyond to help you to assist you with your classes. All of our instructors are great. Some of our instructors are actually um, doing live classes. So if you register for the class, they'll let you know how that actually entails. So when you're supposed to be in class from 7 to 930, you're actually logged on um, into Blackboard and actually um, watching the instructor lecture live. So like I said, we are so excited that you all took this time 
to learn about the Fort Hood and the continental campuses, we are here to provide you any assistance that you need and help you throughout your educational journey. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact our office and we'll make sure we help you along the way. Do you have any questions? I don't have any questions at this time. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for participating. Thank you, Dean Hare, for actually taking the time and sharing this information with us. It's been really great um, being able to find out a little bit more about what's happening in Port Hood and Continental Campus, especially with all of these changes that have been happening recently due to the pandemic. Uh, we really appreciate the time, the effort that you put into this. Remember, everybody, if you have questions, uh, you can still contact the Dean here and uh, her staff, depending on where you're located. There's there's probably a location near you. Take a moment, reach out to them. Hopefully, they'll, uh, you'll get all the answers that you need quickly, and then we'll get you started with your education. So thank you very much, everybody. It's been a great day today, and we'll uh, see you again next week with the kinesiology department. Uh, chair. Thank you and have a good day.